Today is a challenge. I'm gonna try to run again for the first time for after after the Spartan race because I had a big crash, a big accident uh, two weeks ago, three weeks ago, and I couldn't put my heel on the ground. So today is gonna to be officially my first time running, starting from zero. As you can see, it's extremely hot. It's 37 degrees and the feeling is 45. So if you saw my previous video just before, watch it. I'm going to talk about it later. For now, I have to go. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Today is a very, 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 very quick video to tell you something. So the first thing is, uh, if you don't know, I had a very big crash two weeks ago on the bike at 40K. So technically uh, I had a collision with someone. I completely flipped over him. So if you want to know, I did that. Except I landed like that. But the problem is I landed on my uh, heel just right here. I was mentally prepping myself for a cast. For insurance purposes, I dragged myself to the hospital to get some scans. As I'm lying there, bracing for the worst, the doctor walks in and says, good news, it's not broken, just a nasty heel contusion. I couldn't believe it, all that drama, and it turns out I just bruised it. But hey, I'm not complaining, way better than a broken bone. Still, not an experience I'm eager to repeat anytime soon. I was not able to use it for at least one week and a half. Last week was uh, the time to do airsoft with PC Japon Corp, but I was not able to run still. Today is the first run, but you can see it's very hot. So today it's all about trying to strategize this run because it's uh, 37 degrees right now. The feeling is probably higher. The goal is to keep the heart rate uh, low and it's not easy because as you can see there, there is not a lot of shadow. Obviously uh, there is not a lot of people running, probably one or two on the field. Uh, usually it's pretty packed here on Sunday but there is a special warning from uh, NHK or Tokyo or whatever to tell not to do any exercises forbidden to do exercise today but the reason why I'm doing it today is because I want to adapt to this type of condition, extreme conditions. Uh, number one is to see if I can run, and number two is to see if I can run in those conditions, but obviously I need to do step by step. So there are actually some water spots where you can have water and you can put water on your body. I would say 1K, 800K, uh, 800 meters, every 800 meters. So. Uh, it's obvious I'm gonna stop every time to put some water on me not to burn right now I'm just trying to cool down a little bit and uh, yeah keep the heart rate low you know I did 3k already I'm trying to run around 530 to 540 like a pretty slow pace on purpose because if I'm going too fast my heart rate will go through the roof and if it's going through the roof heat stroke or heart attack and we don't want that so Let's go, I think I'm gonna go to 6K probably today and uh, it's gonna be gone. But let's see if I can run on my heel. So far, so good. So far, so good. No problem. All right, uh, sorry about the video quality today. It's just a quick video to show you uh, the progress because I have uh, a marathon in Hokkaido end of August, but most important, I have a triathlon in September and that's my first triathlon ever. So I try to run and swim every single day. For now, it's a small run. Let's go. Oh, you see how I'm sweating. It's pretty disgusting. <laughs> All right, let's go for another day. Previously, I mentioned the dangers of heat stroke and even heart attacks during extreme heat and today's situation in Japan underscores just how serious this can be. In July alone, more than 120 people died of heat stroke in the Tokyo area. Most of these tragic deaths involved older individuals found indoors without using their air conditioners despite having them installed. Many including me, believe air conditioning isn't so good for health, but in such intense heat, it can be a lifesaver for you and your family. Let's not forget we all have a different metabolism and immune system. 
Authorities in Japan repeatedly urged people to stay indoors, drink plenty of water and use air conditioning to stay safe. This July was the hottest on record since 1898, with average temperatures soaring more than 2 degrees Celsius above normal. Thousands were hospitalized for heat stroke and warnings are still in place as temperatures continue to rise. Remember these precautions aren't just for Japan, they apply all over the world. Always be mindful of temperature forecasts, stay hydrated and don't hesitate to use air conditioning when needed to protect yourself from the dangers of extreme heat. Extreme heat isn't just uncomfortable, can be deadly and not just through heat stroke. There's a strong link between high temperatures and cardiac arrest. Which brings me to some tragic news from last week. One of the favorite competitors in CrossFit, Lazar Dokic, passed away likely from a cardiac arrest. This shocking incident took place during the first men's individual event at the 2024 CrossFit Games, which has sent shockwaves through the CrossFit community. A well-respected athlete and excellent swimmer collapsed just 100 meters from the finish line of a grueling running and swimming event. Despite the efforts of rescuers, he couldn't be saved. This tragedy has put a spotlight on the values of the CrossFit brand and its flagship competition, the CrossFit Games. The brand has always prided itself on its strong community of dedicated practitioners, but this incident has raised serious concerns. The death of such a high-profile athlete has intensified media scrutiny and social pressure on CrossFit, challenging the very foundation of the brand's reputation. Remember, whether you're pushing your limits in extreme sports or facing the scorching summer heat, it's crucial to be aware of the risks and take necessary precautions to protect your health. Good to learn, uh, unfortunately, it was a bad event, but it's good to learn that we're not invincible and the fact that we need to be safe. I obviously can do a little bit more to be on the safer side, but I kind of want to train in this condition and nothing is going to happen because I'm taking my breaks, I'm trying to get some shadow and trying to get my heart rate uh, low and of course getting some water as soon as I can inside my body and on my body also. Anyway, it was to talk about this situation. Let's stop talking and let's run. Let's go. You can see there is literally no one. It's shaking a lot. I didn't get the right iPhone, but yeah, literally no one because it's too hot. And uh, don't want to go to the heat stroke. Fortunately, I didn't say, but I have a bottle with me and I'm putting water on me every two to three minutes to avoid these type of things. But yeah, the heart rate is going high naturally let's keep going i did 4k so if you know it it's almost like playing tag monster or chaperche in french every 1k you're trying to get some shadow because it's just too hot and that's the only way to recover this and water so far i haven't seen any water around but i'm gonna go back from now and trying uh, hopefully to get a 6k let's go for Another K, I have 4K, two more K to go. Pretty easy, but I'm pretty happy I can I can still run, especially after this. I'm grateful because I didn't have any bone broken. And uh, yeah, if you know how it is to get a collision at 40K, it was not easy, but fortunately I could land properly. All right, let's go for those two last K. 5K, let's go. Whoa. I need some water. You can see the bees are trying to get some water also. Uh, pretty tough. So, if you have seen my previous video just right here, you might know and understand why Tokyo is actually so hot and it's really hard to breathe. The air is pretty dense and it's humid. So you feel that. You feel like a hammam actually. You feel you cannot breathe and uh, the sweat is coming automatically but right now only one kit to go obviously i'm not pushing that much so i'm not uh, hoping for like an exceptional performance probably a 540 which is like pretty slow for me as i said before see i'm already happy i can i can run the camera is all over the place wait hold on and you put it the other way so yeah i'm not going to complain the performance is it is what it is probably 37 38 degrees and uh the feeling is probably like 45 right now let's go one more k to go ah oh, by the way when I'm taking this video, it's uh, slowing me down, obviously, for my average pace. And at the same time, it gives me a, a nice opportunity 
to lower my heart rate. So it's not bad. And the second thing is better safe than sorry. You don't have to prove all the time that you are the fastest or the strongest. All you need to do is to train for yourself and like see the progress. For me personally, right now, right now, I'm happy with the progress and that's all I want to see. Uh, you're gonna tell me, Jesse, why didn't you run at night? It's pretty simple. I need to train sometimes in those type of conditions, not every day, of course, but sometimes in those type of conditions because it's gonna be a big help if a race is in this, those conditions. That happens sometimes. It was close to that type of temperature in uh, Susono, the Spartan race. That's not all. I had extremely bad condition during uh, the Niigata Spartan race last year and extremely bad condition for the Kobe trail race. So I have to believe I'm a little bit cursed when it's about conditions. The Hokkaido Marathon is going to be uh, end of August, so it means it's supposed to be hot. That's all I have to say, it's supposed to be hot. So anyway, I'm talking too much. Let's go for the last 1K. Okay, that's it, exactly 6.10. I don't know if you can see. I have to say, I was uh, anticipating this run so much because I was so scared after probably like three, four weeks. Yeah, three, four weeks, I would not be able to do it. Even more than three, four weeks because I went to France in between. I just did the Spartan and then right after I had the accident and I couldn't move for three, four days. But because I couldn't move my feet, I was able to swim. So I went to swim and I think it helped with my cardio and it helped a lot with my the way I can breathe. So today it was not that hard actually to get back into this type of run. It was only 6K though, it's not a big long run, but still I'm quite happy. My legs are still moving well. I'm not feeling tired. This is exactly the right amount. A little bit more will be another stretch. Uh, I don't want to go to 10K, 15K right away because tomorrow we'll not be able to do something or maybe I can feel, uh, I will feel a little pain in my heels. So perfect distance, perfect timing. I might complete that with a little bit later on some swim. I think I'm gonna do 1.5, 1.6 or 2K if I still have motivation. But for now, you can see the sun is directly on me. It's not good. It's time to put that back. Get some shadow, hydration. If someone wants to sponsor me as a hydration system, thank you. Anyway, that's it for Mr. Jampon. If you want to see more adventure uh, like this or see my progress, please follow the channel, put a comment, put uh, what you want to see, or if you need any advice, I'm here for you guys. Anyway, see you soon on Mr. Jumpon. Bye bye. By the way, today I tried to do uh, the same workout, but at seven o'clock in the morning and it's exactly the same, still super hot. I'm sweating, need to stop every two kilometers to have some water, even less than that. So didn't change a damn thing. So I will have to work with it. All right, see you soon on Mr. Jumpon, bye.